Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. In the last episode, we made our way through more of Gaul and Maya's tower, citadel thingy, whatever it's, I think it's a citadel. Anyways, we made our way further through it, we freed two more sages, collected a bunch of stuff, we now have everything, we have all of the Precursor Orbs in the game. We only need the Power Cell we're about to get right here from freeing the Green Sage, and we have all the Scout Flies, so after this Power Cell right here, we have 100%ed the game besides defeating the final boss. So that's pretty much what we're going to do, we're going to be the game today so i hope you guys are excited for that because i am very excited as well so remember to like the video if you like it and subscribe for some more without further ado let's get right to it Come on. here we go power cell maximum power and that free the sage there we go good work boys you're real heroes now I'll combine my green eco power with the other three sages, and together we'll open the shield door surrounding the precursor robot. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good start. And then after you guys open that shield, what are you gonna do about the robot? Nothing, Daxter. We have to keep the shield open. It's up to you two to figure out how to destroy the robot. Oh, great. I get to help the guy that turned me into a furball destroy the only person who can turn me back! First, save the world. Then we'll try to convince Gaul to help Daxter. You two late sables. Once I possess limitless dark ego, I will have the key to creation itself. This is madness! Releasing that much dark eco will destroy everything we know. Just look what it's done to you. It has given us a beauty beyond anything you could understand. Beauty? Have you two looked in the mirror lately? Just wait until we open the silos, little one. You think short and fuzzy is bad. And to think you two traveled all this way for my help. Fools! Enjoy your front row seats to the recreation of the world! Jack, take the elevator up and stop that robot! Great, so now we get to fight a giant robot. Okay, I had a feeling we were gonna have to fight that thing. Let's go. We. I'm hoping this fight, I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty tough fight, but I'm hoping I can be pretty good at it. Whoa, okay, camera's all messed up. Ooh, look at all these boxes. Ah, they want to fill me up with, that makes sense, they, whoa. I already died, and I haven't even fought the boss yet, that's not a good sign. They want to fill me up with Ika so I could take four hits, that's... Both a good and a bad sign, I think. Oh, gosh. I'm nervous. I am very nervous. Okay, I see lots of yellow ego. That means we're probably going to have to shoot lasers. Okay, do I have to shoot? I don't even know if that's doing anything. Okay, I don't think that's doing anything. I don't know what they want me to do because this eco vent's closed. Okay, maybe I have to shoot. Oh, I probably have to. I'm an idiot. I probably shoot the glowing parts. Yeah, you idiot. Okay, the eco doesn't respawn. Let's get as many of these as possible so I can just keep going for a while. Oh, there we go. I'm kind of stupid sometimes, but we know this. Ooh, okay, that was bad. doing? Are they making enemies spawn? Please don't make enemies spawn. They did. They Oh, crap. They're really bad enemies. Okay, 
Do they just infinitely spawn or what? I'm not sure exactly how this fight goes. What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, they're they about to shoot. Nope, they're gonna laser beam me. Oh, this is bad. I got stuck in the aim mode. This sucks. This fight's gonna be a pain in the butt. Crap, how am I supposed to do this fight? I at least did that better that time. I don't know if I needed that or if I had 50. This is really... I don't like this fight, and I don't know how I'm supposed to do it. They spawn enemies, but I gotta shoot them, I think, while the enemies are spawning? That's gonna be hard, dude. Shoot them while the enemies are spawning. At least that automatically explodes whenever I go up in the air, so I don't have to worry about concentrating on that, at least. My yellow eco. Where's my yellow eco? Okay, seriously, I bumped into him. Oh gosh, I really don't like these guys. Okay, I'm. I was tapping the square button. He wasn't shooting. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Gosh, this fight is hard. Am I supposed to go till, does that just keep opening or? You see, this part's really hard. And they give me the yellow eco, so I'm like, How am I supposed to jump over those? Don't step into the light, Jack. Don't step into the light. Yeah, those aren't funny anymore. I just want it to be over. Um. Okay, yeah, I need this for the four hits. Yeah, it looks like that thing opens a little bit more each time, so do I have to just keep going, or...? I don't know with this. Because I think I need to shoot him, but I don't understand how, because it's like, I can't... Like, at this phase, these guys are swarming me too much for me to be able to stop and aim. Unless, does he stay close, or does he back away? No, he backs away. Stay away from me! Whoa, camera just totally freaked out on me. Okay, we do that one. This is the one that always gets me. Like, oh, I destroyed the cannon. Okay, so that's where I'm supposed to do that one, maybe. Okay, do your thing. 
gosh, they're like opening that thing more and more. And I have like no health left. This is bad. This is way bad. Okay, what are you doing now? I don't know what this phase is because I didn't. Oh, it's a giant laser beam. Oh, come on. Dang it. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it now. So the one where I fight the enemies, I can't uh, shoot them because I would have to aim and stuff. And I can't aim fast enough while those guys are attacking me. Because if you get hit while you're in aim mode, it's not like you just take the damage and stay in aim mode. You, you get knocked out of aim mode. But I can do the other phases. That's good to know. Well, technically it does. Okay. Gotta play it smart. And he's going through the phases too, so green eco spawns enemies. The red eco, he shoots explosive mines. Yellow eco is... So I wonder if he has like four phases then, maybe. And that might have been the last phase. Oh, come on, seriously? I was trying to see if I could shoot him, but I don't think I was shooting him. There we go. Okay, next phase. And I found with this one, don't double jump, single jump. Because double jumping is what screwed me over on this one. Those shots actually travel pretty far, but I don't think they lock onto him from the long distance. Okay, okay, next up's gonna be the red eco cannon. I mean, yellow eco cannon, that was the red eco cannon. The yellow eco cannon's a little bit easier because it's a charge shot, I get a couple of hits in. As I stand right where it's firing, that was my own fault. Here we go. Okay, that one's done. Now he real angry. Okay, what's he doing? How do I get the light eco? There we go, I was about to say. I was like, don't kill me now. change you back. Don't worry about me, baby. You know what they say. Big things come in small packages. Jack, you have an incredible talent for channeling Eco. 
Samos, you may have been right about this one after all. And Kira, without your help and ingenuity, none of this would have been possible. <laughs> Perhaps we've found another sage now that Gaul and Maya are lost. Yes, Gaul and Maya. The Dark Eco probably destroyed them. Uh, probably. Ah, who cares? Bring them on! We can take them again! Right, Jack? I said, right, Jack? Whoa! Put it on ice, big guy! There we go, guys. That was Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. Now, because we did 100% the game, there is an after credit sequence thing that we will be waiting for, and I'm very excited for. But I wasn't expecting the boss to be that quick. I didn't think that it was just, like, a one phase per thing. I thought we had to, like, destroy it, and otherwise it would keep going through the phases till you destroyed it at certain parts. But that was actually fairly easy-ish. So, cool. Yeah. Yay. Um, so, thoughts on the game? I love the game. I loved it just as much as I did whenever I was a kid watching my brother play it. I loved it just as much now. It had some challenging parts, but it was never too challenging where I was just like, I gotta quit because it's like, I can't take it anymore kind of thing. It's not like Crash Bandicoot where that drove me insane. I mean, even Spyro had some pretty tough points, but this was like, I mean, Spyro was a lot easier though. But this game, very, very fun, enjoyable, love the story, love the characters. A very nice, simple platformer from the PS2 era, so I really liked it a lot. And there's really not a whole lot to say about it, just because of the fact that it's, you know, it's a short game. I mean, it, it took us 22 episodes to get through the whole game, and that's with all my uh, mistakes and mess-ups and everything. So, not too bad, but yeah, I really like this game. I do highly recommend it. It's, I think for the triple pack on the PS4, like I said, people do recommend the PS3 version. Even though if you play the PS4 version on a PS5, the graphics are as good as the PS3 HD, um, like, remastery versions so that's fine but if you're just playing the ps4 version they say that the ps3 version is actually a higher quality hd so just keep that in mind but um the the ps4 collection usually goes on sale but i think even full price it's only maybe like it's either 20 or 40 bucks i can never remember now but it, it usually goes on sale pretty cheap i picked it up for like eight bucks i got the whole collection so i do highly recommend it uh, Jack 2 and Jack 3 are also really great games. I have played Jack 2 myself a little bit, but not a whole lot. In Jack 3, I played I played quite a bit, but I also played it a lot with my brother, so we kind of took turns playing it and everything. So that one's also one that I didn't play too much, but because I did have more fun watching him and everything. But yeah, so that's kind of something to keep in mind that the collection is pretty cheap. It's a ton of fun. These games are awesome. They are PS2 classics, in my opinion, that basically every person should play at least once or watch at least once. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I recommend this game. Um, it's definitely not a 10 out of 10 because it isn't perfect. It has its issues, but it's definitely a solid, like, and I know nostalgia glasses are, like, definitely weighing heavily on this, but it's a solid, like, 8 to 9 out of 10 for me. I love this game, and I love the series, and I always will, and I really hope they bring it back and make more. I don't know if they will, though, because, uh, you know, I mean, Ratchet and Clank, though, they finally brought back, so who knows? We might get Jack and Daxter soon. I mean, there's rumors going around that Spyro might even make a comeback, so, you know, who knows? I mean, they also brought back uh, Crash Bandicoot, too. That's another one to think about. They, they made a new game for that. So, fingers crossed, you know, because there was more to the story. But I also know that they kind of started doing spinoffs, and the game started kind of not being as good as the original trilogy. I enjoyed the spinoffs, but I know a lot of people really hated the spinoffs that they kind of made of this game. So, well, not really spinoffs. They were kind of main series, but they really just went a weird direction with it, in a sense. But, I mean, then again, the ending for three was kind of weird too but anyways that's pretty much my thoughts on it um i'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys here for the rest of the credits i think it's almost done because it's a pretty small team i think made this game it's kind of surprising because it's like we've already gone through a large portion of the the like stuff we're already into the qa and whatnot where you know the voice actors it was like there's only like what like 15 20 voice actors for this whole game it's pretty crazy thing about but it's also a pretty short game though it was only about a 10 hour game and that was with all my mistakes and everything Anyways, I'm going to leave you here. Love the game. Highly recommend it. Great gameplay. Great story. A great soundtrack is phenomenal. Soundtrack's 10 out of 10. I love the soundtrack for this game. But yeah, so I'll see you after the end credits scene. So yeah.
Holy yakko! What could that be? Wow! It's an ancient precursor door! It looks like it will only open if we fill all 100 holes with power cells. Uh, we're heroes, remember? We have 100 power cells. <laughs> Here we have it, guys. That was Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. So that scene set up for the sequel, where it, it literally picks right off at the, the sequel, right from that secret scene and everything with that door opening everything. So, ooh, mysteries and, yeah, excitement. But, yeah, that was it. So that was our journey through Dak and Dak, Jack, Dak and Daxter. Uh, words, Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. Thank you for being along with this journey with me. Um, yeah. So if you guys want to see Jack 2, make sure to comment down below, like the video and everything, and let me know if you do want to see the next one in the series, because like I said, I have the whole trilogy and Jack X Racing, but that one's kind of its own side spin-off thing. It's a fun game, but it's kind of a spin-off. So, but we could do the whole trilogy if you guys want, so you need to sound off in the comments below and let me know if that's what you want to see. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!